Representative Samuelson, please state your purpose. Moment of personal privilege. The lady is recognized for a point of personal privilege. The House will come to order. Um, members, this is the first day of my last month on this floor. And because that can be trying, I wrote out some of my comments, but I thought I'd keep them kind of short. I wanted to talk about the things on my desk, because all of us have things on our desk that mean something to us, and when we take the time to ask people, we're often curious to see them. So one of the first things that will always be on my desk is a box of tissue, because it's so, you know what, cold in here that my nose is always running. And that is one of the few things that uh, I will not miss around here. The second is I have this license plate from the Catawba Lands Conservancy and the Carolina Thread Trail. As Representative Carney will know, we've worked on this for as long as I've been in politics. And it's the one project that in my entire time in politics, I know I will love till the day I die. It is also symbolic of my love for the environment, which is based on what I believe is the Lord's commandment, that the environment is a gift to us and we are to use it, but not abuse it. And every time I look at this, it would remind me of that. This you heard about when we had the NASCAR Hall of Fame. This is my season pass to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. I love the science of NASCAR. But unexpected to me, last week it became the tool to an answer of a long-time dream of mine to be invited to the White House. And I wasn't here last week because Pricey Harrison was kind enough to get my name on a list to honor Jimmy Johnson, who was one of my constituents. And I got to go to the White House because of NASCAR. My mother will be astounded. The other thing here is a Valentine's Day present from my grandchild on his first Valentine's. And I'm looking real forward to spending a lot more time with my family. And so I wanted to encourage all of you to care for one another when I am gone. In here is, I used to call it mind candy because everybody else has candy, but it's verses from scripture, it's quotes from famous people. And I had them there to always remind me how valuable and important it is for us to learn from the people who go before us and to particularly learn from the Word of God, which has been my lifeblood. Under my glass here, I have a seating chart. And the seating chart, every time I look at it, it reminds me of my favorite time every day when we're in session, and that's to be here. Because it's the easiest way to connect with everybody and, when needed, to go about and encourage or equip us to do the work that we have been called to do. Under my computer, I have a map of the state of North Carolina. It used to be accurate on districts. It's not anymore. But it is accurate on counties, and it helps me realize as a native uh, North Carolinian how wonderful our state is and the role that each of you play in making that state wonderful. And it also sometimes reminds me of my first session here when I realized I'd never been to the Outer Banks. There were lots of parts of the state I'd never been to and went and took a tour. And I wanted to thank Representative Daltrey for taking me to my first ever hog farm and what an impact that made on me to be able to see a hog farm and to experience parts of the state that I had not been to. But the deepest... I shouldn't have looked at him. And the most personal pieces in my desk have always been these hymns that I keep under here. Because when things get really testy, sometimes I'll look at these hymns and I'll read through them and just sort of quote them to myself and remind myself that there is life outside of politics. And so I wanted to close with these first and last verse of my favorite hymn, at least the favorite on the glass. Hold on a second. This doesn't count toward my time. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground firm for the fierce, fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace when fears are stilled, when strivings cease. My comforter, my all in all. Here, in the love of Christ, I stand. No guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny.
No power of hell, no scheme of man can ever pluck me from his hand till he returns or calls me home. Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. I'll love and miss you all, but I'm looking forward to my second half. <laughs>